Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna show you how you can create a poll that your audience can respond to during a Microsoft Teams meeting. You can create your poll before or even during the meeting if you wanna have an ad hoc survey. Your audience can respond to the poll before, during, or after the meeting. When you launch the poll, all of your attendees will get a notification within the meeting and within the chat, letting them know that there's a poll that they need to respond to. Let's jump on the PC and walk through how we can create a poll. To be able to create a poll on a meeting in Microsoft Teams, first head to the calendar tab within Microsoft Teams. Next, you need to find the meeting where you wanna include a poll. You have to be either the organizer or one of the presenters to be able to create a poll. Let's double click into this meeting for the Kevin Cookie Company where today we're going to take a company pulse. I'm now in the meeting and first I wanna show you how you can create a poll before the meeting launches. Later on, we'll look at how you can create an ad hoc poll once a meeting's already in progress. Up on the top tabs, let's click on the plus icon. This opens up a dialogue where we can add a new tab to our meeting in Microsoft Teams. We want to include a poll and we're going to use Microsoft Forms to do that. If you don't see it immediately in this set, you can also search for Forms right up here. I'm going to click into Microsoft Forms. The next screen gives a little bit of an overview of what you can do with Microsoft Forms. Let's click on Add. This opens up yet another screen that tells us what we can do with Microsoft Forms, and the great thing is we can create a poll both before and during a meeting. This all sounds great. Let's click on Save. Once again, this opens up another screen where it tells us what we can do with it, and once again, people can vote before, during, and after a meeting. So it really should be clear when people can vote. Next, let's click on this text that says create new poll. This opens up a dialogue where we can start creating our poll. We could enter in the question and all of the different options. I mentioned earlier that I'm running a company poll today with the employees of the Kevin Cookie Company. One of the questions that keeps me up at night is, what is your favorite cookie company? I mean, if our employees don't think it's the Kevin Cookie Company, I don't even think we have a chance. I'll go ahead and enter the first question in. I've now entered the question and six different options. You could type in up to six different options. Down below, I have the option to make it a multiple answer question, but we know there's only one right answer, so there's no need to turn this on. Down below, I can share the results automatically after voting. We're a very transparent company, so I'm going to leave that checked so everyone will be able to see the results of this survey. Down below, there's the option to keep responses anonymous. If one of our employees votes for another option outside of the Kevin cookie company. I want to know who it was because we might have to take some disciplinary actions. Next, let's click on save. This now drops me on the all polls view and I can see all of the different polls that I've created. Now only organizers and presenters in the meeting can see all of these draft polls. If you're just an attendee, you won't be able to see any of these polls until I launch it. Now this is a company pulse, so I need at least one more question. To add another question and to put it on queue for the meeting, let's click on create new. For this question, I want to get some feedback from all of the employees about what their favorite slogan is. I'm a firm believer that ideas don't come from management, it comes from all of the individuals working down in the trenches and talking to customers. I've now entered in a few different options for slogans that I came up with, and I personally think they're all pretty good, so I'll allow multiple answers. I don't know how you could choose the best one from this set. Down below, share results automatically after voting. I'm going to uncheck that because I wanna build a little bit of suspense as people vote, and I'll personally share the results once everyone's done voting. Down below, you can keep the responses anonymous. I'm going to check that and then click on save. This drops me back on the all polls view, and right here I can see all the polls that I've created. Up at the top, I can see the various settings that I set for these polls. Now right now, it's showing the polls in the order that I created them, but I wanna ask the favorite slogan question first. I can click on this question and I could drag it to the front to shift the order. Now I want people to start responding to the favorite slogan question before the meeting even begins, so I can even launch that right now. If I click on this drop down list, I can go back and I could edit it. Maybe a few more slogans will come to mind and I wanna include it, or I could just delete the poll altogether. Right now, I'm ready to start getting responses, so by the time we have the meeting, I'll have some results to share. Let's click on launch. Now that I've launched the poll, I see text right up here letting me know that the poll is currently live. As soon as people start voting, I can view results, and whenever I wanna close off the voting, I can also close the poll. 
I'm now in Nestor's view. He was nice enough to let me borrow his computer for a little bit. Here I see a notification in chat from Forms, and here it's requesting that Nestor respond to this question. So this is a way to drive people to respond to the poll. Now here, the favorite slogan question, I'm going to select the second one, subscribe or no cookie for you. Next, I'll click on submit vote. Because I have it set not to share the poll results, Nestor can only see that there's been one response so far. Now Nestor's in the chat of the meeting and he also has a polls tab on top. Let's click on this. This drops me into the polls tab for Nestor and here I see a very similar view to what I get. I see the live poll and I also see the draft poll. Nestor can even go in and launch a poll. I don't want him to be able to do this. As a note, if you're an organizer or if you're a presenter, you have the ability to launch a poll. I'm gonna go back to my account and I'm gonna change the permissions so Nestor can't launch the poll. Back within my view, I wanna modify the permissions so Nestor can't launch these polls. Up on the top tabs, let's click over on details and within details, there's an option for meeting options. Let's click on this. This opens up meeting options for the company Pulse meeting coming up. And right down here, there's a drop down for who can present and it's currently set to everyone. When it's set to everyone, anyone can go in and view all of the poll questions. They could edit polls, they could delete polls, and they could launch polls. I don't want that. I'll click on this drop down list and I wanna set it to specific people. When I click select specific people, this opens up another drop down, and I could start typing in some names. I only wanna allow Diego to have admin control over the polls. I'll select his name and then I'll click on save. Back now within Nestor's view, I can see that he can now only see the currently active poll and he can't see any of the draft polls. I know Nestor might try to edit some options, so I feel a lot better now that these poll questions will be completely accurate. I've now joined the meeting in Microsoft Teams and it looks like both Nestor and Diego are already here. Up on top where I have all of the different meeting controls, there's a new icon for polls. Let's click on this. This opens up a pane over on the right hand side and I could do a few different things with this. At the very top, I can create a new poll and I could just create a poll directly in line without even needing to leave the meeting. Underneath that, I could see all of the polls that I created ahead of time. I see the poll that's currently active. I could click in to view results. And down below, I see my other draft poll question. And when I'm ready to launch, I could simply click on launch. Now I'm gonna ask Diego if he could launch it so we could see what the experience looks like for attendees when someone launches a poll. Diego just launched the poll. And here you see a prompt appear to all of the attendees of the meeting. And here they see the question. Now, like I said before, there's only one correct answer to this question, so I'll select the Kevin Cookie Company and then click on Submit. With this question, I set it to share the results immediately so whoever responds to this question can see how everyone else is voting. I don't know why I was stressing so much, but it looks like 100% of our employees believe the Kevin Cookie Company is the best cookie company out of all of these different competitors. Let's click on Done, and I'm just gonna go ahead and close this poll so we don't get any other responses. I just wanna make sure we don't skew these fine results. Now that we have all of these survey results, I can export the results and this will export an Excel spreadsheet. Let's click on export. This opens up Microsoft Excel where I can review all of the responses to the question. And once again, I can confirm that 100% of our employees selected the Kevin Cookie Company. Now this is a totally good sample size. So we're gonna go with these results. Back within Microsoft Teams, I also want to vote for my favorite slogan. I'll select subscribe or no cookie for you and then submit my vote. Now that I voted, I can see how everyone voted. Because the results are not shared, no one else will be able to see this. So as soon as we wrap up the meeting, I'll let everyone know what our new slogan is, but we've landed on subscribe or no cookie for you. Once the meeting wraps up, I can go back to the meeting on my calendar and I could click into polls and I could see all of the results for the different questions. Along with viewing all of the results in Microsoft Teams, another way to get back to the results, you could head to office.com and over on the left-hand side, click into Microsoft Forms. If you don't see forms on this list, you can click on all apps and this will open up the app gallery. Next, let's click into Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms powers all of these polls in Microsoft Teams. And here too, I can see all of the quick polls that I created right here on the Forms Start page. Let's click into this one on what's your favorite slogan. 
slogan. This opens up the question and I can also review all of the responses here and I could export it to Excel as well. Because I created this in Microsoft Teams, I can't edit it on Microsoft Forms. I can only edit it through Microsoft Teams. All right, well, that was a quick look at how you can create a poll during a Microsoft Teams meeting. If you now know how to create a poll, please give this video a thumbs up. To see future videos, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a comment down below. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.